tell me, dude. <laughs> Bro. Dad. What is going on guys? We are back with another video. Terminator Cobra on the dyno. Cody, what's the story with this thing? Jeez. Uh, Blowing up motor. Uh, <laughs> so I don't know, I was cruising on the way to the shop on work on it one Tuesday morning, just doing the typical what everybody does, get on Facebook Marketplace and search your normal cars. And I found it was listed like six hours ago in our backyard in Odeo. Yep. I had already seen it, but I was like, well, I don't I need it. you right away. Yeah, mm -hmm. I was like, I don't need another Terminator right now. Yeah. Even uh, though I want one, but. So, 04, 130K miles, mint body, listed at 15,000. And uh, it was a really non-punctuated paragraph with, well, kind of hard to read. And it said something along the lines of, low on compression, need some work. Just get it out of the garage type of deal, yep. basic mods run down. So I DM'd the guy, my first words were, what did the compression test read? And the guy said 80 PSI across the board. And Keyword, across the board. Yeah, so I, I knew that wasn't, that didn't sound right for the knowledge I have. You don't have 80 PSI across the board. You have cylinders down, but you don't have them all linear. Mm -hmm. So I knew something was wrong maybe in the air of that gauge. Um, he was a great guy, I'm not gonna lie. He watches the channel, I believe, so he might see this video. Uh, so he's a good dude. Uh, just, we're, we're about to find out if it's a dud. Yeah, we're gonna find out with a dud. It, I, I can brush and test it myself personally. Uh, it's one, 155 to 165 across the board um, on multiple different gauges. So on paper, the car seems healthy. Yeah. The butt dyno seems healthy, but as Andrew just said a minute ago, I'm a little bit rusty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I mean, we, yeah, we're, so. gonna, we're gonna see what it lays down and then uh, we'll probably do some tuning. What is it? 430. 430. What are you on here? 450. Damn. I, I went up. I went up. Alright. Wide band's working. Boost is working. Tax working. Send it. So lean, bro. I literally love it. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know if that was really bad. It didn't sound healthy, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it was it was going lean. Uh, At least it made 405, so if it made 300, I'd sell it. <laughs> I was like, am I gonna lift? Am I gonna lift? And then I was like, yep, we're gonna lift. And you've been beating on this puppy too. Oh yeah, I've been the fuck out of it. Mm -hmm. data and then we'll get back on this film yeah Running out of fuel up top. And running out of fuel up top. What is that, 4,500 RPM? Stops? Uh, hold on, that's... Where's your peak at? Not even fucking 4,000. Mm -hmm. So uh, it dies at 4,000 RPM? All right. Mm -hmm. Well, what we know now, it's a dud. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I commanded well, my fuel. Mm -hmm. Fuel, uh, yes. Yeah, down so. low. So we were in like tens, air fuel. 
Well, I commanded more fuel everywhere. Yeah. But it was rich, and then it goes and fucking just runs. Straight up wing. Yeah. What's up, base pressure up wall? What's the pressure up, pressure up top on that one? Uh, hold on, I, I logged it that time. I bet it blows bitch up, dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're probably pretty close. This is probably, that's leaner than the time we had that uh, deal with the GD500s. And that's actually pulling a shitload of fuel top. Yeah, it's going down to 30 PSI. Yeah, not ideal. Fuel system and speed, dog. <laughs> All right, let's, let's go brainstorm here. So, how about this dud? A <laughs> last minute fuel system? <laughs> so. Uh, I mean, you probably explain it better than I can, but I mean, the car made power all the way to like 4,000 RPM and it's just dead. Yeah, it's, it's going out to like 13 air fuel. Yeah, so. That's, it, it like dips to 12. Like, I'm like, okay, well, 12 0, 12 2 is not the worst, but then it just gets leaner and leaner, and the wheel pump duty cycle comes up and maxes at like 4. Yeah, so I mean, there's, we can put band aids on it, we can put pumps in it, we can do the fuel pump booster. Pumps that 0304 covers do, or we can do boosters. Yeah, and, there's uh, a chance only one of your pump works too. That could be in. Yeah. So, um, it just so happens that uh, he was just mentioning, he's like, yeah, I was gonna order a lethal fuel system. I'm like, bro, it's it stock. But uh, we got an on three dual pump uh, fuel hat. Uh, I think we'll probably use your original tank because I'm assuming this one's not an 0304 Cobra tank and 0304 Cobras are uh, sumped. So we'll pop the hat out of there. So we got the lines, uh, we got the fittings we need to attach it to the fuel rail deadhead regulator. Uh, we'll whip up a quick uh, fuel system wiring and we're gonna put some corn in this thing and break five today. <laughs> Go from a certified dud to not so duddish. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's a plan anyway. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So. Yeah, the dud, anybody wants to buy it for 25. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> so you were being nodded this whole time and it was, uh, yeah. Lean is mean, yeah, lean except is it wasn't mean. that mean. It was, it was 400. Yeah, a Gen 3 car that had some bolt-ons and it seemed like it held, held up good out there. It was going to be a 450, 460 wheel car, but... Especially what it was making on the street. I mean, I don't know. In a loaded environment, I feel like it probably even been worse on fuel pressure than yeah. I know. Yeah. Especially with all the fuel slots to the rear. Oh, yeah. But if it didn't feel slow, I mean, it makes 454 times torque because tor tor it's torquey. Yeah, so you'll get 100 horsepower today. <laughs> all righty. Any popped lines? No. Nope. Doesn't look like it. Bone stock PPRD dog? Yeah. Yep, you do have the 03 or 4 Cobra tank though. You can see the sump in there. Okay, so status update. Old pump, old tank is out. Uh, so what we're running is a deadheaded fuel system. Perfectly fine for this power level. Um, big blower, high boost, probably not. Uh, so we got a feed line uh, coming from the back. Uh, comes in to here. It deadheads, so it returns, leaves a 40 PSI or 50 PSI base, whatever we end up running, feeds the rail, that's staying uh, deadhead. So basically it doesn't return, the return happens here. This is fine for this setup, not fine for high boost, high power, but- I mean, people, I mean, the lethal budget return system- It runs it the same, same way. Exact thing. If people say like the stock rails and this combo is good to like 750, I wouldn't trust it personally. Like 650, 700, I'd be cool with, but like, that's pushing the limit. Yeah, so we got E85 in the tank, uh, we got the two pumps in the back. I just loaded a tune into it uh, to change the storage point to E85, uh, but we haven't put the injectors in yet. We have some ID1050s uh, laying around. So let's see if it starts up. First start on the corn. Very nice, like a dream. Go. Twin fuel pump. 
Actually, it's a triple pump. Uh, we're only running two pumps though right now. So, should be doing pretty good. Very nice. You having fun, buddy? Trying, man. Not that side's great. done. One more side to go. It's yeah. been, a, it's been a, a long four hours. Five yeah. hours. Yeah, man. You gotta make 500 today, dude. Not wrong. <laughs> All right, we got tune loaded in. ID 1050X injector data. Gonna try to make a hit on the same timing, just injector data and a fuel system that works and see if we can crack mid fours. All right, guys, so we are up and running. Uh, we're gonna set the base pressure a little bit higher, 33. PSI, we're gonna kick that up to 40. And uh, our air fuel is in the neighborhood. Um, so we should see that stabilize a little bit with this uh, fuel pressure fix. We got Cody adding a little bit more. And we should be ready to make a hit. about at all it's dipping off a little bit up top so. uh it did seem a little froggy and like i said i wouldn't be surprised if we're getting bell set up there that's a lot of yeah that's a lot of pulley Woo! <laughs> dorky though dude huh mm -hmm. yeah let's take a look at the fucking log dude i bet the things woke the fuck up i bet if i felt like this getting in now if it was the streets are actually dry right now it'd, be, it'd probably feel rowdy as shit <laughs> bro I'm so pumped. <laughs> All these motherfuckers hating on my tuning, like, <laughs> like you're just fucking throwing this shit together, fucking yeah. like make it. Make well, it not only it. that, fixing a car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fixing a car all day long. There's mm -hmm. some dudes comment that just has me ticked. They're like, "Are you just like, uh, like using other people's base files, or like, are you tuning from scratch?" I'm like, motherfucker, <laughs> like, it's, stop watching fucking Yolo Dick Bag. <laughs> <laughs> and like he's fired up he's think, fired up think for yourself yeah. because mm -hmm. just because that dude can't fucking tune without a lun base file yeah. doesn't mean no one else can <laughs> like fuck yeah, off he's not wrong <laughs> all right let's well, see it's good much, diet uh, too i mean like i said we spent all most of the day just fixing little errors and tweaks around the car to get it to go where we needed mm -hmm. yeah okay <sighs> Yeah, okay, so let's see some timing. 19, 19 and a half. So, there's some air fuel improvements though that we can make. up uh Pretty good right now. It's uh, about 11 o'clock. Uh, we made just under 490 wheel, so pretty solid improvement. Uh, we're actually having some leaning out problems up top. My theory is there's a third pump in the tank, and we only wired two of them. And I thought about this when we were putting it in, but just you know, try to throw it together. Um, I think because there's no uh, check valve in the third pump, we may be losing some 
pressure at that third pump. So uh, we're Good probably morning. yeah we're probably just gonna go wire that in the morning. Uh, we're also only seeing 15 pounds of boost at 5,000 and then dips off. So we're probably gonna have a belt slip. So we'll come back in the morning, wire the other pump, uh, belt slip. Hopefully we'll that's 127. <laughs> Okie dokie, so um, there's some little stumble there in the middle range, right? You can even see it on the graph, but our air fuel was pretty in check. We got a little bit of a rich tip in, but we can kind of deal with that. But yeah, there's a little thing there and it just kind of felt a little weird up top. I was watching air fuel, uh, but air fuel looks pretty solid um, after the fuel pump fix. My guess is we're starting to experience a little bit of spark plug problem. So we're going to throw some fresh TR6s in here, gapped at 22 thou. Uh, we're definitely experiencing um, some belt slip. We don't have a solid belt on this thing. So here's our boost sensor on the dyno, 15.8 pounds. That's where you're seeing your, you know, your spark kind of jump up a little bit. Um, you know, we're seeing some, some good boost there for sure um, but then it we just go up higher in the range and you know we're dipping down to 14 13 and we really should be holding 15 16 pounds of booze so pretty possible we're getting some belt slip there but 495 526 uh, we're getting closer so we're gonna see if we can smooth this out um, we can't really get our hands on a belt today for uh, that large four pound lower so we're gonna just do what we can all right, so not kind of a quick plug change. TR6 is 22 thou gap. Uh, we had some BR7 EFs at what gap? 28. 28. So a little bit tighter gap, but these plugs are also different if you actually look at the, the length. I've always ran a TR6 anyways. Uh, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but you can see that the, the BR7 EF is a little shorter. TR6s has always been the kind of proven, uh, you know, setup for an O3 Cobra. All right, so I just want to say we're we're running into some SCT issues uh, where we got an updated device, the logger's not working, a bunch of weird, stupid stuff might be running out of math, so we're gonna have to come back and adjust it. We might have belt slip or clutch slip, but we made 508. Sheee! Like, like clean lick 508. And if we compare that to what it came in with. <laughs> okay, hold on, let me pull the full pole. So we came in at 405. Damn. Mm -hmm. That's, dude, that is badass. <laughs> um, air fuel's looking pretty good, pretty in check. So, so we got 16 pounds of boost. And you can see it just kind of starts to dip. We got 15 out to 13. And we can check out our log, which doesn't have downstream air temp. We need to update this SCT, which is going to take 10 years to do. But, uh, and how much time? Maybe? 22 and a half degrees, which this is eight and a half to one compression. It's not mm -hmm. bad. So, looking pretty good. All right, I'll pick it back up here probably on a later date, but mm -hmm. that's a pretty solid, pretty solid day and a half. Yeah. Yeah, there's more tweaks I want to do, but I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. So we, we got some solid gains. Um, it's just kind of falling off right there up top where normally you just expect a little more. Detail. Yeah, I mean, like I said, it's been sitting for like six years, so we could be pegging the mat. I mean, it just needs a lot of maintenance items. New belt, new tensioner, we need a notch tensioner, a mod tensioner. Yeah. Uh, 540 torque, though. Yeah, it's torquing. Well, it's an indication of power, so if, I mean, yeah. it should, I mean, start making this thing make mid fives it'd be pretty ideal but yeah i'm gonna look over a few more things just make sure we're wrapped up but 
I mean, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Yeah, We 100%. broke the five mark, and we, we know that there's still some improvements we need to make hardware-wise. Yep. So. significantly more power without losing the boost so you can see we got 15 pounds right there and the fall off on the power follows the boost so you can see right here down to 13 out the back so if we were holding boost up top we would be probably i'd say at least 520 530 wheel yeah. um maybe even 550 um if we're seeing like 16 to 18 pounds um but I mean, we're we're now in check. Air fuel's in check, and it's making good power. So now we can tweak it more. Yep. There we go. Okay, Javier, what's it gonna make? I uh, hope for fifty, but if it's less, I hope not. <laughs> All right, we had Cody's Terminator on earlier. It's a Terminator day. Uh, we're gonna run it, see what it does. Unknown tuned, right? We don't know who tuned it. No, we don't. All righty. Okie dokie. What we got? 432, 464. 34, 462. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad, man. Not bad. It would have made more if it doesn't have that rev limiter thing. Okay, well, we were just gonna run Javier's car for some numbers, but it's got some weird rev limiter on it that's buried in the SET. Javier lives 40-ish uh, minutes away. Yep. His SET is over there. We got uh, SET up and running finally. So we're gonna head over there and I guess we're gonna try to get it to make 470-ish. Uh, because right now, it hits a hard rev limiter, and the torque source in the HP Tuner's log shows that it hits a rev limiter, and HP Tuner's won't let me change it. So, see right there, we made 440, 475 at 5500, where it applies rev limiter. We're gonna try to get that fixed, and uh, my guess is it would keep on singing to around 460 or 470. Let's make it happen. Okay, so we got the old Game Boy machine right here. Uh, we're going to go ahead and program that in with the tune. And see if we can make a little bit more power. Javier, just, just leave it right here. <laughs> Yeah, Leave it right here. Nice and stands, right? It's funny because I'm sitting here looking at this and I'm like, man, I want one. And then we just, Javier's like, dude, <laughs> you got one. it's right there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I miss mine. Uh, mine, I got word, it has finally been crushed. My old one. It's gone yeah. forever. Oh, really? Yep. 
Oh, wow. It is gone forever. I didn't know that. Yep. Beautiful fella. Oh, man. Them wheels, the stance. Perfect. Yeah. But OG will be back soon, so. Um, so with Javier's car, uh, what did we end up making? Uh, four. We got uh, this nice blurry printout. So we have 446 real oil horsepower and we got 493 torque. So ironically, uh, Cody's car was right before this and actually had pretty much the same problem. The, the fuel pumps are just getting a little old and uh, it won't hold fuel pressure above 5,500. So we went and just kind of knocked it there at 5,500. It is what it is. It's a little disappointing, but it's that's an easy fix. And it's we can, healthy, man. Yeah, I mean, that's that's still really good power and yeah. 490 torque is, yeah, is a lot. I love it. Um, and that's just a 276 upper um, stock motor and I think cold air intake. And, and long headers. Yeah. So really basic, basic mod. So it made just about 450 at 5,500 RPM and 490 torque. So it's, it's something you experience with these older Terminators. You got to think that fuel pumps have been in there for uh, 20 years. So, and even if we look at Cody's, Cody's looked pretty, pretty torn up. You can see some oxidation on it. These things are just, they're just getting old. So something to think about when you pick up a Terminator. Make sure you have a wide band because Cody was rolling around with 13.0 air fuel. Javier's car was actually in check. It, his fuel pumps were in better shape until 5,500. That's where it was running out. And the previous shop that tuned it also put a rev limiter at 5,500. That's how we know that that was the issue. But nonetheless, Javier's happy. He's still got a 700 wheel horsepower Shelby at home too. We're good, we're good. The best of both orders. So, but hopefully it'll be tuning some more Terminators in the future. Hopefully they come in ready to be tuned to 7,000, <laughs> you know, but I think Javier's gonna get some pumps swapped in it, SVT Focus or something like that. I forget what people do in the Terminator world nowadays, but should be good.